You know what sometimes beats my imagination when it comes to all of these things? Every good thing should be associated with him. Mm. But every bad thing is far away because you are not the one in charge. Charlie, what's the best English word to give this scenario? Is it gaslighting? Is it insulting <laughs> us? Is it we are we are we are all mad? Like <laughs> he's not the final man to make the decision. The decision power doesn't lie with him. It lies with the president. Bondholders saw a sharp decline in their net worth following the painful yet unavoidable debt restructuring program. The new patriotic party prioritizes what you, the Ghanaian people, say are your priorities. The manifesto lays out a clear path of how we plan to solve these major problems, among others. That is why my government will make business and jobs our number one priority. 2024 is an election year and one thing that is expected of course is party manifestos and MPP just launched their manifesto and here at Sauce and Pepe we want to look at the manifesto in its entirety whether it gives any glimpse of hope to the ordinary Ghanaian and also look at some of the highlights and things that he mentioned. Kingsley before yes. this manifesto launch mm. what were your expectations and after you've had the launch do you, do you think your expectations have been met? To be honest, I wasn't expecting much. Okay. And after listening to the vice president, I'm not sure it gave me any hope. No, for hope, it's far from hope. But mm. um, there are a few things that stood out for me from what he, he, he read or okay. the speech he read. Okay. But hope, I'm not sure. Yeah, at, yeah. at best, I'm indifferent. Okay, so let's, let's look at some of the highlights that stood out for you and the low ones that didn't work for you at all? Okay, so for me, I, I think it's three. Okay. Um, first is FinTech Fund. Right. So he said he's going to establish a fund with a seed capital of 10 million US dollars. Mm. I think that's a great idea. We have a lot of us, the youth, entering into the FinTech space. We are creating great software, mm. uh, apps, mm. things that solve problems in this modern time. You know, I think when it comes to Ghana, mm. the, the problem won't be ideas, right? Mm. But implementation and where the money would go to. Talking about 10 million mm. going into the beautiful idea, mm. but really that 10 million, will it go to where it is designated for? That's, so again, we'll come back to this. That that's, that's has been our challenge as a country or as a nation. So you see this, this policy, mm -hmm. fine policy, Very fine. but who and what, quote and unquote, mm. is going to get this $100 million? How are we even going to distribute it to the people? Right. Are we going to do it based on party colors? party card or being just a Ghanaian with a vision? I guess I guess we would know when 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 the party is in power. But what else? What else? Another another to? great thing that stood out for me was the tax amnesty for startups. Okay. If you've not <laughs> if you've not encountered the GRE in your in your in the process of you starting up a business, you will not understand this. Mm. I have worked with a lot of startups okay. as as companies mm. and the struggles they go through with the GRE. Mm. See, it's almost as if you've done something wrong for registering with the GRE that you're a startup. Yeah. See, they would, they would, they will stress you. <laughs> I'm looking for the, the, the yeah. word to use. They, yeah. will, they will stress you. Mm. They, will, they will make you miserable mm. just because you started a business in Ghana. Guess what? We are giving tax amnesty to big organizations that can afford to pay the taxes. Tax. And you and I, when we start something small and we make the mistake, quote and unquote, to go to GRA to tell them we've started this business, see, they will haunt you till you close the business down. So I think this is great. Awesome. This what, is great. What else works for you? Another one would be the teachers going to own vehicles of up to 1.8. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this, wow. this exactly. This is coming at a time where CETAC is on strike. Well, developing story is that they've met the labor ministry and they've reached an agreement, an MOU, so they've called off the strike. But he was making this promise at a time when CETAC was on strike, where... <laughs> 
Ma- and, and, and other teachers whose monies were deducted from their pay to provide laptops for them. It had to take a lot of noise by the media and these teachers threatening demonstration to have those laptops given to them. And even that one, is not every teacher that has that one laptop, one teacher policy thing. And this, this is the, the, the challenge. one teacher, one laptop thing, is there a fact that some of them haven't received it? Yes. Some of the teachers have said they haven't received it. But I don't understand why. Because they have unions, right? Yes, they do. They're not, they're not grads. So that is why so, it is troubling that you, the vice president, you are promising us incentives that would even lead to we purchasing and owning our own cars. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, just something like as common or small as laptop, you can't even provide that. So how then do we take this for for it that yes so when truly, you say he can't provide that is his capacity as what the man person. has consistently told us that he is not the one in charge okay. so give him the steer so everything happening now he is not part of it or he's not the one in you know, charge of anything happening now but he will be the one to help us in future other ones you don't agree so when when a president <laughs> comes to make a statement that mm. look me i don't have any economic ideas mm. that is why i am bringing in this economic whiskey to come and solve our problem and now we should absolve him from all the mess is that what you're saying it's not because what he has been telling us and we still have crowds at the, the rallies and the uh, manifesto lunch. Is that okay, what so what, what, other, what other things were there, <laughs> were there highs for you? Is that, is that all? For me, okay. for me, generally, I mm. think he was just um, rehashing a lot of the things in the 2020 manifesto. Okay. Because there are a lot of things that were promised mm. that has not been done. Mm. And I'm thinking that if you want to build on your, your, your boss's legacy, I, I was hoping to see that you would finish a lot of the things he has started. Apart from the Agenda 111 yeah. and the yeah. obvious things we know. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of things that are pending. Creative arts. You promised them amphitheaters. We've not seen anything yet. He didn't mention anything about it. That's, that's true. That's so true. if you ask me my highs, maybe these three stood out for me. Like proper, 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 proper standing out. But the rest... It's like something I've heard over oh, and over and over. Okay, again. okay. Yeah. Let's let's look at some of the taxes he says he would abolish. Mm-hmm. He says he's going to abolish a tax like e levy, yeah. COVID nineteen levy, betting tax. I mean, this 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 is good news. Is Why it not, not now? That's that's my problem. Why not now? Like because I mentioned, he's been telling us all this while that when he becomes president, that yeah. is when he will implement all these things. And I feel like he's playing with our minds. <laughs> so why, why, why I, feel, you... I feel insulted when I hear some of these things when I come I'll abolish when I come I'll abolish is your party going to change or your status just changing from vice president to president will automatically change everything because whatever we are doing now you don't like it but when you come you will change I just don't get sometimes but, but you see the people are saying that the, the, the back, the final back stops with the president. So even though he may have suggestions, he may champion some policies and all of that, he's not the final man to make the decision. The decision power doesn't lie with him. It lies with the president. So I may bring all my ideas, all the things I think would, if we go according to would work. At the end of the day, it has to be approved by a higher authority, which is my boss, the president. So if I do not have that power, really, then I can't really do anything. But when I have the power, which is the steering wheel, I will do all of these things. You know what sometimes beats my imagination when it comes to all of these things? Every good thing should be associated with him. Mm. But every bad thing is far away because you are not the one in charge. Charlie, what's the best English word to give this scenario? Is it gaslighting? Is it insulting us? Is it we are we are we are all mad? Like <laughs> uh, we are please. So okay, look, don't don't you know Ghana issues? You need extra hats to be talking about Ghana issues. <laughs> so you just just be calming down. We all mm. want the betterment of this country. But mm. one of the things that mm. 
people are not happy about is the fact that they didn't touch on corruption. Mm. They, 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 mm. I mean, netizens believe mm. a little was said on corruption. Mm. And I heard Kujo Opon Kuma on Bernard Avlis show where he was saying corruption wasn't discussed because it wasn't top of the issue, wasn't the main problem the country is facing so now, surprised. to paraphrase him. I was so surprised. <laughs> Charlie, I, at this point, I don't even know what to say. Corruption of all things is yeah. not part of the top things we are discussing That is now. why it wasn't mentioned in the manifesto. Why you think otherwise? Well, we agree we have a 58 million hole. Fine. And one of the concerns about netizens after this uh, manifesto launch is the fact that a little was said on corruption. And I agree with them. If, if you want to lead this country, Give us ways you are going to end corruption. Mm. The OSP is doing his best, but we all know how he's struggling to even deal with corrupt cases. Yeah. The latest one will be GBC and the Ministry of Sports. Crazy. All African games we held here in this country. Crazy. He is claiming on the pack, uh, public accounts com yeah. uh, committee that and, and, and that he, he, did that he has given oath. GBC... Three million dollars. And you know, I, I, I saw that he said uh, excess, an excess over three million. So the three million is not, it's even more. Yes. And I applaud the MD of GBC, he's, Director General, yeah, because for coming out to say that they actually gave us hundred dollars. Because his integrity is on the line. And he said something that was very profound that GBC, they need a lot of things. And if they have that three million dollars, yes. they will sort out all those things. Yes. So don't come and give me $105,000 and go and sit at public accounts committee and tell them you've given me an excess over $3 million. This and many more scenarios is how I wanted the vice president to tell us how he's going to deal with it. Let corruption be so unattractive to the politician. Mm -hmm. Another thing I didn't find or hear in it, and I was so disappointed, was how we are going to curb over borrowing. We are currently with the IMF. How are we going to be so disciplined to say that we will not exceed this amount when it comes to borrowing? Mm -hmm. Because we borrow and we can't see anything or uh, yeah, uh, produce not, anything from the borrowing, we, we keep borrowing. Right. And industrialization, I, I, I think I didn't get much when it comes okay. to how he's going to help the manufacturing bit because we keep importing a lot of things. Yeah. And now it's about time we rather produce them here and look at how we can export some of these things outside. You know, me, I, I am really happy for the Ghanaian and especially the Ghanaian youth. Why? Because this time, the way we are not just taking the promises at face value, but we are interrogating it, seeing who is lying, who one is last being One last one. One last one. Yes. Constitutional review. Right. Vice President, mm. um, no, former President J.M. Mills. Mm commissioned the whole constitutional, constitutional review New committee. Committee, right. The late president, John Evans Atta Mills, constituted, yes, so yes, he constituted a whole constitutional review committee, mm. came up with solid, solid, solid recommendations. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear anything about how he's going to implement some of these reviews because our constitution is actually obsolete, for want of a better you, word, you because know, it's not... You know, it's when, not in tune with modern times. Yeah. When and the, I didn't get how he was going to review some of the things, the provisions right. in the constitution. Right. I mean, when you speak to netizens, they, the impression you get so is who that is this netizens? they Cry are all over about. social, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> if, you, if, if you speak to them, mm. the, the sense you get is that they, they, they want a government that will come to power that will set them on the right path of governance. Mm. They want a government that will come to power and review a constitution that doesn't give all the powers to the president, but rather gives the power to the people and institutions. I love it. So these are the it. things he is looking at. And That's unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't get them in, in the manifesto. But on Saturday... The NDC will mm. also launch their manifesto and Sauce and Pepe will be here to scrutinize it. If it's not good, we'll see it. If it's good, we will. And this one is a, is a, is a caution to them. Okay. They have the opportunity to edit whatever they've already typed. 
no, 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 because if you mess up, we'll be here. <laughs> exactly. But aside that, what what other thing would you say is corruption? You know, sometimes people make these um, um, say accusations in thin air without backing them with evidence. The latest everyone, one. The latest one is the minister of sports, youth and sports. Saying they've given GBC three million US dollars. What did the CEO of the, the MD uh, of GBC come to say? They give them hundred and five thousand dollars. So this is the Ghana. We, so yes. So we, assuming assuming this MD didn't come out to say anything, where is the two point eight million dollars? Where is it? Um, ladies and gentlemen watching Sauce and Pepper, where is the two point eight million Ghana? Say, please tell us in the comment section. Whilst you're doing mm -hmm. that, recommend this channel to a friend, a brother. This has been the MPP manifesto under scrutiny. What do you think? Does this manifesto offer hope? Let us know. Till then, we are.